Romans were known to be great builders, but the question is how was their concrete so strong compared to modern concrete? Hello everyone and welcome back to Civil Mentors. In today's episode, we are going to dive deep into the fascinating world of Roman concrete, a remarkable building material that has withstood the test of time. We will explore how this ancient technology was developed, why it was so successful, and what we can learn from it. So, get ready to be amazed by this incredible engineering feat from over 2,000 years ago. Roman concrete, also known as Opus Caementicium, was a game-changing building material during the Roman Empire. It allowed them to create large-scale structures such as the Colosseum, the Pantheon, and aqueducts that still stand today. But what made this concrete so special? To understand this, we must delve into its origins, ingredients, and production process. So, without further ado, let's get started. Roman concrete was first developed around the 2nd century BCE, when Roman builders began experimenting with different materials to improve the durability and strength of their structures. The knowledge of producing this incredible material was built on earlier civilizations' practices, such as the Egyptians and Greeks, who used a rudimentary form of concrete. But it was the Romans who truly perfected the formula, creating a building material that would revolutionize architecture and engineering for centuries to come. To answer the question of what made Roman concrete so special, let's first take a look at its main ingredients. The recipe consisted of volcanic ash, known as pozzolana, lime, and an aggregate made from crushed rocks and stones. The secret to its strength was the pozzolana, which contained reactive silica and alumina. When mixed with water and lime, it created a chemical reaction resulting in a strong cementitious material. The production process was relatively straightforward. First, the volcanic ash and lime were mixed together in a 1-3 ratio. Next, the aggregate was added to the mix to create the desired consistency. Finally, water was added to initiate the chemical reaction, forming a robust building material that would harden over time. Although Roman had a standardized recipe for concrete, they also made adjustments based on local materials and construction requirements. This adaptability allowed them to build structures with varying levels of strength and durability, depending on their needs. Roman concrete could support massive structures, including the arches and domes that characterized Roman architecture. Its resistance to weathering, corrosion, and even earthquakes is a testament to its longevity, as many Roman structures still stand today. The chemical reaction was not hindered by water, meaning that Roman concrete could set and harden underwater. This property was crucial for the construction of harbors, bridges, and other marine structures. Roman engineers were quick to recognize the potential of this versatile building material. They began to experiment with innovative techniques that took advantage of its unique properties. Roman builders used wooden molds to shape the concrete, allowing them to create intricate designs, such as decorative friezes and columns. The compressive strength of Roman concrete enabled them to build large-scale arches and domes, like the iconic Pantheon, which boasts the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. The Romans' innovative use of concrete allowed them to build some of the most iconic and enduring structures in history. Let's take a closer look at a few of these architectural marvels. The Colosseum was constructed using Roman concrete, allowing for an impressive seating capacity of over 50,000 spectators. The use of concrete also enabled the construction of complex underground passages, which housed the various facilities and mechanisms required for the spectacular events held at the venue. The Pantheon boasts the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. The Roman concrete used in its construction has not only withstood the test of time, but has also provided a model for modern-day architects and engineers to learn from. Roman aqueducts, such as the Pont du Gard in France, were essential to supplying fresh water to urban areas. Constructed using Roman concrete, these structures have remained largely intact, demonstrating the material's resilience and longevity. Despite the incredible achievements of Roman concrete, its use declined after the fall of the Roman Empire. 
It wasn't until the 18th century that modern concrete began to take shape, inspired by the Romans' ingenuity. However, modern concrete, while strong and versatile, still faces issues of durability and environmental impact. The production of Portland cement, a key ingredient in modern concrete, releases significant amounts of CO2, contributing to climate change. This has led researchers to revisit Roman concrete to better understand its unique properties and develop eco-friendly alternatives. Recent studies have revealed that the secret to Roman concrete's longevity lies in the formation of a rare mineral called aluminum tobermorite. This mineral, which forms over time as the concrete reacts with seawater, strengthens the material and increases its durability. By understanding this reaction, scientists hope to develop greener alternatives that incorporate volcanic ash, industrial waste, or other sustainable materials to reduce the environmental impact of modern concrete production. Some companies have already started producing eco-friendly cement alternatives inspired by Roman concrete, such as geopolymer cement, which uses industrial waste materials like fly ash and slag. These modern alternatives have the potential to reduce CO2 emissions by up to 80% compared to traditional Portland cement. Also, the discovery of the self-healing properties of Roman concrete has led to a resurgence in its use, with modern engineers seeking to incorporate these principles into their own construction projects. The result is a new generation of structures that are not only strong and durable, but also self-healing making them better equipped to withstand the test of time. The story of Roman concrete is a testament to the ingenuity and engineering prowess of the ancient Romans. Its unique properties enabled the construction of some of the most iconic and enduring structures in history. While its eco-friendly characteristics inspire modern engineers and researchers to develop sustainable alternatives. As we face the challenges of climate change and a growing need for sustainable infrastructure, the lessons we learn from Roman concrete serve as a reminder that sometimes the answers to our most pressing problems can be found in the past. By understanding and harnessing the power of this ancient building material, we can pave the way for a more sustainable and resilient future. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories and educational content about engineering, science, and history. Until then, peace out.